In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to install the IQ Gateway Circuit Breaker on the IQ System Controller 2 bus bar. This is only required for systems with an IQ System Controller 2 and IQ 8 microinverters. First, you need to remove the IQ Gateway Circuit Breaker from the IQ Combiner bus bar. The IQ Gateway Circuit Breaker can be found in the middle of the IQ Combiner bus bar. If generator support is not required and the breaker you removed was manufactured by Eaton, you can now install the breaker into the generator slot on the IQ System Controller 2 bus bar. If the breaker you removed was not manufactured by Eaton, you will need to purchase a new Eaton breaker. Refer to the best practices document for compatible part numbers. Now go back to the IQ combiner and connect line 1 and line 2 wires to the middle terminals on the IQ gateway terminal block. Run these wires to the newly installed circuit breaker in the IQ system controller 2 and secure them in place. If generator support is required, you will need to leave the generator circuit breaker as is and replace the NFT breaker with a new quad circuit breaker. Refer to the best practices document for compatible part numbers. First, remove the current NFT circuit breaker. Then, install the new quad circuit breaker. Then reconnect the NFT line 1 and line 2 wires to the 40 amp circuit in the quad breaker. And reconnect the line 1 and line 2 wires from the IQ gateway terminal block to the 15 or 20 amp circuit in the quad breaker. The IQ Gateway is now powered by the IQ System Controller 2 bus bar. 